Hey YouTube, it's Bay, and for today's video, I'm gonna do a follow-up on the fascinating topic of uh, testing your brake fluid. <laughs> In my last video last week, I showed y'all how I test for moisture, and I alluded to these little copper test strips, and uh, I saw in the comments that a lot of you were interested in learning more about these. So, uh, sorry that I assumed that uh, these would be boring. <laughs> so, back for a quick video on what these are all about and how to use them. So first, let me just show you how to use them. So, to test for the amount of copper in your brake fluid, we're gonna start the exact same way as testing for moisture by removing the cap, setting it aside, not spilling any fluid anywhere, and dipping in this little test strip just for a second or two, and then shake off any excess brake fluid that's on there. Then we're gonna wait for 60 to 120 seconds and compare the color of the strip with the color on the chart. Then, of course, the challenge is to figure out which one of these colors is the closest. I don't know. It's kind of hard for me to tell. I'm like leaning toward 100 though, but like maybe that's what I want to think versus what's actually real. But I mean, we already know I have to replace my brake fluid, so I'll just maybe I'll just own up and say that it's actually 200. So, um, why does why does copper in the brake fluid even matter? So as I alluded to in my video last week, copper is not something that brake lines are necessarily made of. It's just part of the brake line that happens during the brazing process when the brake lines are made. So, but it actually is like a metal that's in the brake lines itself. So. When this stuff like diffuses out of the metal and gets suspended in the brake fluid, it's like a clear wear indicator of the brake lines, basically. And when that happens, it's also letting you know that like, hey, there are anti-corrosion or like corrosion inhibiting additives in brake fluid. So this shouldn't happen. Unless of course you've let your brake fluid go for too long and the additive packet has worn out due to, you know, just typical everyday use or just getting a crappy brake fluid to begin with low quality brake fluid. Um, so indicating that there's copper in the fluid basically means that your brake lines are starting to break down the beginning of that slow process. Now, um, it'll naturally leach out anyways because of like the process of diffusion. I feel like this is like such a scientific, I've got my test strips. I feel like this is just time to put on my science glasses. Um, okay. So the process of diffusion, actually I did terrible in chemistry. Chemistry was like the worst class that I did. I it was like the only class I got a C in and then I actually dropped out in college and I took a different class instead of chemistry because I didn't like chemistry and I didn't need it for my major. But anyway, chemistry. Um, the interesting thing about copper and why you don't want copper in your brake lines is because copper actually reacts with iron. That's what, that's what they say. Um, that's, that's, that's the claim is that you don't want, because there's so many iron components in your brake system. I mean, my calipers are made of iron. Now, I wasn't sure if this is actually true and I don't know enough about ions to know how like copper and iron like react together. So I just like Googled it real quick and I saw some pictures and like watched some YouTube videos on like copper and iron reacting. That's pretty gnarly stuff. You definitely do not want that in your brake system. So that's why this is good to have. Now, the only reason why I don't use this like regularly is just because the price. Like this is um, like the pro kit. The Pro Kit, and it has a hundred test strips in it, but it was like seventy-five bucks or something like that. Like, who's gonna? If you have seventy-five bucks, don't you want to like go out to a nice dinner? You're not gonna buy this strip when you can just buy the moisture tester that's equally as effective, but you know, test for something else for like seven ninety-nine. So that's that's the main reason why I don't use these. But of course, that being said, I do own them, so clearly I do believe in them. I do like them. I do use them. I just, you know, if I was gonna like recommend one for someone starting out, I'd just say get the moisture one because what's the end goal? The end goal of using this or the moisture tester for your brake fluid is basically to test the condition of the brake fluid and then use that tool to help portray to the customer, hey, you really should get this procedure done. <laughs> you should get fresh brake fluid in your system so that you're helping them by saving their brake system and preventing them from more costly, more extensive repairs further down the line. So uh, with, with that sort of end goal in mind, really either of these are effective as long as you're getting the point across and making sure that your customers are doing their scheduled maintenance. So yeah, that being said, um, I will link to this in the description below. I also think you don't have to buy a hundred. I think they've got like smaller packs. So let me research that. And uh, if I find a smaller kit, I will link that in the description below. Um, last, I would also mention that this is only good for certain types of brake fluid. That is dot three, dot four, and dot 5.1, not dot five. <laughs> but I don't know, anyone out there running dot five um, probably is uh, 
I don't know, has like someone, Duff I was like for race car, it's like silicone based fluid and uh, you see it more in like high end or like race car applications and you're probably getting your vehicle maintained a lot more than the average person. So anyway, all right, there, there we have it. <laughs> Phoenix Systems brake strip copper testing, your brake fluid. All right, thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then uh, give me a thumbs up. Maybe consider subscribing or something. Leave me a comment. I try my best to read all of them and obviously I read your comments because that's why I make this video. Uh, so hopefully next week I will have my video up on how to bleed the brake fluid um, by yourself or with a buddy now that we know that our brake fluid is bad. Have a good one guys, bye.